Hello everyone, I'm Reena Agustin, the founder of Red Carpet Functions and the main motto behind doing these amazing interviews is to bring to you people who are making a difference in the community and I have the privilege to introduce you Pinky Singh who is the president of Punjabi Welfare Association of Australia, chair for Punjabi Women Brisbane, founder, president and currently vice president for Indian Lions International, multicultural chair for LNP Queensland, ambassador for Indian community on Lord Mayor's multicultural table, ambassador for Lord Mayor's charitable trust, member of Rotary and recently was a LNP candidate for the state seat of Meccanal, Queensland. And she's the first Punjabi woman to be a candidate in Australia for LNP. And also, she is a mother of three teenagers. Welcome, Pinky Singh. Thank you, thank you. It's a great pleasure to be here, Rina. You have been in Australia for a long time now? It's about 22 years, 1998 when I migrated here. Mm -hmm. Yes. Um, the first thing that I want to ask you a lot of questions, but the one thing that I wanted to ask you from the time you were a candidate was, were you scared? Uh, not really. It was just like um, another new venture and uh, new experience, a great journey that I would say that, no, not really. No, no. that's amazing. I enjoyed it and a great time. That's yeah. amazing. And uh, you're the president for Punjabi Welfare Association. So what does the association do? So when's it for uh, about... Uh, five to six years ago, like-minded people, a few friends of mine, just like that in the room, started this organization. So um, it's just my name there as a president, but there's a lot of good people. I've got a great team. It's a teamwork. This asso association helps many new migrants to get them connected to if there's any DVs happening, if there's any education problems, if they're uh, trying to find a job yeah. or whichever way. Because when I came here first, I always thought there was a bit gap mm -hmm. that I couldn't find certain um, areas or uh, departments or any that sort of a help. There was, I was a bit lost at that time. So this was back in my mind at that time when I was new in Australia. I was thinking that one day when I have a time, I'll give that back to the community mm -hmm. to help new migrants to settle down. And you're doing it very well because Trying. you are an inspiration to so many women out there being the only woman who was selected uh, to be the candidate. And, and I think of being scared, but as you said that you weren't, why? I think when you have a, that passion, yeah. the genuine passion in you, th then there's no um, place for any sort of scariness in you because you genuinely want to do it and it's you got to have that passion and the fire and I always knew that this is what I want to do. And how did you find that? Very interesting, different. Um, of course there was a bit of a, I call it a roller coaster, so it was up and down just like anything else in the life mm -hmm. and no it was it was great, a great experience. Yes and um, so Everybody has a passion, a purpose in life. So your passion is to serve the community. That's the reason you were the candidate. So when did you find that? Again, I, I, thought, I think um, I always had that in me because my father served in the Indian Air Force. So during that time, my mother was uh, uh, doing house duties and she was always on the side doing something to give back to the community, some sort of a charitable works or charity. And I always used to go along with my mother. Mm. And um, I think it's, you, sometimes you're born with it. Yeah, so always had this passion to serve community. Mm -hmm. And yeah. why did you move to Australia? Pardon? Why did you move to Australia? Oh, I got married. Okay. So I was very one of those fortunate uh, people that uh, met a uh, great life partner at the right time and it was an arranged marriage and going very well. I am very happy and happily married uh, and mother of three as um, you mentioned before. Yeah. It's amazing. So you're working now as a consultant. Yes. Yes. Tell me about it. So it's a new, absolutely new, um, again, a little project. I'm a person who always got to get going, doing something. So just after when I was uh, unsuccessful in our uh, elections, recently on October 31st, the elections held in Queensland. And after that, I thought, no, I don't want to be just like sitting down and not doing anything. And going back to my old business was a little bit harder because I, there was a big gap in there. So um, and during this time, I met many um, new people and made a lot of connections within a business as well. And uh, just before interview, as um, we're talking about, is 
been kissing consulting i thought i couldn't find a name first of all for one month and my accountant said just just put your name there i said okay and so what i try to do is connect business to business mm -hmm. client to business and also basically i connect people yeah and wherever there's a little gap or mostly at the moment it's a word of mouth and they're my friends they're my clients and uh, yeah so helping them out to create new business or stay in if they want to stay in the same business just how to get more successful and have a peace of mind at the same time. That's correct, that's correct. And uh, I think the name is perfect because people know you. <laughs> <laughs> so that, that was suggested yeah. by a good friend and an accountant, so. Yeah. yeah. Um, so, uh, Pinky, if a woman wants to do what you're doing, what is the one encouragement thing that you would like to tell her? Have a passion. Just have a passion. Because I always believe in you live once. On a deathbed, uh, that was, that's, really my thing that I do not want to have any regrets yeah. at the end that I wish I could have done it yeah so just give it a go just give it a go give it, uh, you'll fail try again try again mm -hmm. but just do it if you got yeah. that in you yeah so um, yes fail try again try again but failure is something not many people take it easily right yeah it's really really hard to take it so how can they overcome with that uh, I think everyone find their own way. Mm -hmm. Everyone is different. Yeah. It does take a time. Some do uh, give up easily. Yeah. But um, again, it's, it's, again, it is within you. Mm. Look at other inspirational people. That's what I did. Yeah. You know, I have a lot of uh, great people that I looked around and uh, thought, you know what? No, I'm not going to give up. I'm going to do this now. Yeah. And uh, have passion. Have have be genuine about what you want to do. Be true to yourself. Yeah. That's the main thing. If you're true to yourself, you'll definitely find the way. That's right. That's right. So, who is your inspiration? Well, there's many, but uh, I um, I do like Sushmita Sain. Okay, yeah. Yeah, that's a she's one amazing, woman, yeah. and uh, she done a lot good uh, back in India. Uh, she's amazing. Over here, Julie Bishop, and uh, there's many other great politicians. Mm -hmm. uh, there's a long list, though. Yes. I do read about all different uh, great women. Two ladies you mentioned, they, are, they yeah. have been amazing. Yes. Miss Universe 1994, yes. so she yes. made a scene. Yes. She made a huge difference yes, in the she country, has. not only in the country, I must say, in the world, yep. and stands as an example to so many Indian yeah. women out there, yeah. telling that, you know, nothing should stop you. Yep. And you, great community work, great community work. Yeah. She adopted two young girls and giving them an opportunity, and yeah, yeah. so I admire her for that. Wow. So, what's happening in the community? With your work, with all the things you're doing. <laughs> well, uh, it's exactly like you, Rena. We're all on the same boat. Yes. And during COVID, everything was a bit quiet, yeah. uh, but it's all coming back to normal. Yeah. And fingers crossed, after this uh, vaccination, um, finally, we'll all get that. Uh, things will be back to normal. Yeah. And uh, community is doing great. There's a Chinese New Year happening, and there's Temples are back to open and yeah. small groups are uh, doing their events. So International Women's Day is coming. Yes. There's so much we on. We are lucky, hey? Yes. Yeah, yes. yes. Yeah. So yeah. there's so much happening now. It's yes. good to see people out. Yes, absolutely. Yeah. So um, chair for Punjabi Women Brisbane. So what's that about? That's a little bit uh, seniors group. Okay. And yeah. I have a great uh, few friends who are age uh, above 60 mm -hmm. and normally I, when I first started that, that was normally to pick them up from their house, take, drop them to the kitties or different restaurants or to uh, temples. So I made a little group with them and um, there's a very small group, but they're yeah. there and they do a lot of uh, community work. But behind the scene, they just uh, keep themselves under the radar. But mm -hmm. they're the one who runs it. I'm just a chair. Wow. So, yeah. That's cool. And you're the president for the Lions Club International for Indian. Community. I was. Now I'm a vice president. Mr. Yeah. Shamdas is a president okay. now. But I've, I founded it. Oh, yes. Yeah. Wow. And the same story again. I was sitting with some seniors uh, at some dinner. And uh, one lovely gentleman who couldn't speak uh, much of English at the time and said, Oh, you know, I've done back in Punjab so much work in the Lions Club. I wish there was one. I said, why don't you join this, this? I recommended few. I think he tried and he was built culturally or a bit of, uh, shy with the language as well. Yeah. He didn't fit in. And um, I thought, why don't we start our own? And uh, first Indian uh, prestige Lions Club in whole Australia. Oh, That's what wow. uh, I believe. That's what I heard. Okay. And so what does the uh, club do? 
exactly the same like all other community groups like your red carpet as well giving back to the community mm -hmm. they do uh, under the because lions is a um, it comes under a special international umbrella yeah. Yeah. and uh, so they have to uh, they abide by their policies and guidelines and do all sort of a charity work wherever it's needed hand to hand mm -hmm. so anybody can join or only it's for no no anyone, anyone can, can join, join? anyone yeah. can join mm -hmm. yeah anyone's welcome wow because uh, i am uh, part of lions club and i love what uh, the lions yes. club does uh, you know raising funds for the medical research and everything so i think um, as you said that you are the you are the only candidate you know female <laughs> candidate plus you started this lions club um you need a lot of courage okay. to be honest with you. You need a lot of courage and support. So who yeah. is your support group? Uh, absolutely my husband, number one. Uh, he's my backbone. It wasn't uh, uh, easy without him and still it's not easy. Uh, I'm here in doing and with you and he's uh, looking after kids at home. Uh, husband, your family, your children. And then you have, of course, a couple of your good friends who guide you around. So I've been very fortunate and lucky to have great support, great team, That's always. amazing. That's very good. So um, there are so many youngsters out there who are lost. And, and if I would like you to give one advice to the youngsters to find their purpose, what would that be? As I said um, earlier that have a passion, be genuine, be true to yourself, and just do what you really think that you're going to enjoy it. Because that decision Will, be, will stay with the rest of your life. Stay away from drugs, you know, keep yourself away from any sort of trouble. And, and if, you, if you are an immigrant, then especially then because it's, it's very hard. It is very hard. You come here for a better future and you have all the opportunities. So just take it, grab the opportunities with your hand and do your best. Just do your best and follow your heart. Wow, that's amazing. Follow your heart hmm. and be in the right track, Yep, isn't it? So Pinky Singh Consultancy. So if people want to contact you, how can they contact you, Pinky? Well, I'm on a Facebook, Instagram, Pinky Singh, and uh, my website's getting ready soon. So Pinky Singh Consulting Services will be up. And uh, if there's anything I could mm, do to help, um, just go on my messenger and message me. And that's about it. Fantastic. A pleasure having you today. Thank you for joining us. Thank you. Absolute pleasure. Thank you.